Hello there and welcome back. Well, our fabulous event continues. We've got our summer festival quilting happening right the way through until Tuesday at six o'clock in the evening. And of course, we are gathering prizes for you, supplied by our wonderful team of suppliers here, of which I will be introducing a brand new one, the Patchwork Ninja, in just a few moments. But Di, and I hope that is how you pronounce your name, Di, um, has donated a prize to our fund. So I'm going to go down into my crafty cellar um, and bring out a fabulous prize which is going to be significant with regards to the hour that we're bringing you. So what you've got here is a whole reel of buckram tape which we'll explain to you more about in a few moments. You've got some incredibly um, Japanese um, engineered needles which are very key, incredibly strong and hard for your projects and then you've got your Japanese thread. You will be able to use these to create the most incredible bags. Now I'm going to pop this alongside all of our other goodies. Let's pop it down at the front there next to those wonderful spotty fabrics don't forget this prize is growing and growing and growing so of course we've got fabulous fabrics in here we've got some strip rolls in there fat quarters incredible fabric oh, I like the look of those myself and of course we've got that incredible overlocker so it could be that you will be winning these so how do you get involved couldn't be simpler all you need to do is place an order during one of our live hours during our sewing event um, and you will be entered into the prize draw you don't have to enter any codes or fill out any questionnaires or leave any emails now it's one per customer or one per show now we don't announce who's going into the prize draw until we draw that winner and that's the key thing that winner will be drawn in the final call show four o'clock on the 4th of August so as it says there on your screen good luck and for full terms and conditions do jump onto the Hachanda website and of course it could be this hour that you are placing your order to get you entered in that prize draw the more um, often you're placing your orders the more opportunities you have the more chance to win now of course i promised you an amazing hour, and i'm really looking forward to this one we are talking patchwork and ninja and i think we have Dai, who's going to be joining us via skype and i think the correct greeting is konnichiwa konnichiwa oh, konnichiwa how are you konnichiwa hello now have i pronounced patchwork your name ninja. correctly is it Dai? Yes, Dai. Yeah, Dai is a patchwork ninja. Wonderful. Yeah. Now, I'm really excited about this uh, because we are going to be learning some yeah, amazing too. techniques which you'll be taking us through. And we've got some amazing products which I'll be introducing in a few moments. But tell us a little bit about yep. yourself and Patchwork Ninja. Yes, um, thank you. Uh, thank you, Hayley. Um, I, uh, my name is, is the Dai, the ninja, patchwork ninja. I grew up in a patchwork shop in Japan because my mom has been running a patchwork shop for 40 years in Japan. Now, um, we've been uh, doing the business, like just, uh, um, I've been doing a patchwork business in Australia for 10 years, and we've been teaching our fantastic sewing techniques in throughout the, all the world, like just uh, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan, and the UK, like we were supposed to be in the Birmingham show and we are looking forward to coming back for next year. Oh yeah, there are many of us that are so disappointed that Festival of Quilts hasn't gone ahead. But of course, we have to be mindful of the, the situation. And we could see in your background there, that fabulous bag that you're going to be teaching a technique um, to. Now we've got a kit, the yeah. details are up on the screen, so our viewers can obviously get involved with this straight away. But this is something that you're going to be um, teaching us um, and showing us via this particular kit that we've got. You've got all your gorgeous Japanese fabrics in strips, you've got your handles, you've got your book tape and of course you've got your technique and all those little fundamentals those little elements that you need to create this amazing bag yes that's right that's exactly like we're going to teach you how to make this bag here today and the great things about this bag is actually you can make this bag with little sewing because like you can weave these bags yeah, just weaving the f uh, fabrics like this, it's not going to be strong enough to make the handbag like that. But this bag, you can, you know, carry around like this, you can use it for every day. So it's very heavy duty. So this um, background tape, yeah, background tape, it's very easy to use, like that's heavy duty, that's a Japanese product. And we're going to teach you step by step through how to use these tapes and also like you just we are sharing a lot of lots of sewing hacks which is 99 percent of sewers never heard of 
So it's going to be really exciting. Um, and I, I must admit, I was looking at this earlier on, and it is incredible. Um, obviously, you're going to get your template, your instructions, everything that you need to know within your kit. Um, and the details are there on your screen. So if you want to get involved, you can do. By all means, you can do. Now, um, Di, if it's OK, shall I let you get ready for your demonstration? Because I know you need to alter your cameras around. Absolutely, yeah. I'm, I'm getting ready right now. And then just, uh, yeah, I'll let you know like once I'm ready. Wonderful. I will be back with you in a few moments. Um, so let me introduce you to all the different things that we've got here. We are incredibly busy already and I'm not surprised because these are stylish bags and I'm sure you like I have seen these around. Now this is the complete bundle so you've got literally everything that you need in your bundle to be able to create this incredible bag. So you've got, as you saw there, those beautiful, almost like foil print, Japanese fabrics are just so absolutely exquisite to work with. They're beautiful quality. Um, and of course, you can see that coming through there with that gorgeous foiling. Then you've got your strips. Your strips are already pre-cut. There's no measuring done with this. You have got all the fabrics that you need here to create those beautiful um, effects with regards to your fabrics. And this is something that is key. I wouldn't know the first place to go to get these incredible handles which you can see that feature such a significant part of your bag and of course the the quality and the craftsmanship within these is absolutely incredible so you're going to get your two sets of straps and of course you are going to get your instructions there's just a couple of things I would suggest that when you come to check out your order you do potentially add in as your final core elements and we will see oh does that come with it? oh so it does it's over there already I do apologize I couldn't see because the bag was in the way but the bag is fully lined as well so that is the key you're going to get your needle grabber we will see that in action with the demonstrations you're going to get your threads and your japanese engineered needles as well but have a look at this this is absolutely beautiful it's such a stylish bag and such a wonderful size as you can see there and all of that gorgeous weaving going on right the way through now Dai has promised us it's minimal sewing so we will be seeing that in a few moments so if you want in your kit then please do get involved Two flexi buys on this one, spreading the cost, and it's a very popular bundle. So 390724. Now, of course, you might want to go for some of the other wonderful things that Di has bought. So let me quickly show you some of these as well. Now, on this one here, again, this one, we've got different style fabrics, I think, featuring within this particular one. So again, with this one, it's looking slightly different. You haven't got all the additional bits and pieces, so you haven't got your, um, your needle grabber, you haven't got your thread included within this one, but what you have got is still your lining fabric and of course fabric cut in strips there as well as you can see um, you've also got your template that is included and of course the knowledge that you are going to be able to create this so this might be a nice one to add into your basket alongside the original ones don't forget if you do want those additional bits and pieces that you are getting included within the uh, the other bundle they are there for when you come to check out your order so do consider popping these into your basket as you go so make sure you get hold of those as well but for the time being details are there seven ones it wrote 231 58 pounds and 99 pence as you can see the incredible um, price there two flexi buys of course as well one thing as i mentioned there he's out in australia so we have got extended delivery with these just need to bear in mind that and it's the 13th of august but definitely worth the wait now if you're thinking, I've already got some beautiful fabrics that I'm planning to use, then what you can do is go for this bundle here. And this is proven to be very popular as well. So in this one, you've got the template, the knowledge, the tuition that Di is going to be sharing with us. You've got your book from tape there. And as you heard from him, that is manufactured in Japan. So we know we've got incredible quality with that one. And you can see that $17.99 is going to get you both your booklet as well as your book from tape there. Nice little addition to add in as well, because of course, that's one of the things that you'll be using over and over again is that book from there so 776083 that's going to give the stability and the sturdiness to your fabrics when you're working with them um, and don't forget as you're checking out and i'll keep bringing these back in again but you can add these in at your end of call so if you do want your threads if you do want your needle grabber then add those in alongside so you will be able to see those. no additional post and packing with regards to those as well so that's the nice thing about adding those in and of course if you do, do want to add this in alongside any of those other items with your flex 
the order, you can spread the cost of this one as well. So it works out, where are we? It's going to work out about, what, six pounds? And, no, um, eight pounds and 50 pence, I think, is it? Eight pounds there or there, but so details there, 776083. Just one more thing that I would suggest that you add into your basket, and that is these. I'm going to leave them on their stand there, because um, obviously if I hold them up, it's a bit trickier. Here we have got a pack of 25 Japanese steel needles. Don't forget, these are included if you are going for the first item that we've been chatting about. But these are the needles. You need them to be incredibly sturdy. They're strong. They've got the strength with them. And there's a reason why Dai has um, decided to include these ones within the show. And he will explain that as the hour progresses. So 302969, just £11.99. So do make sure you're popping those into your basket. We're going to head back to the, the bag. Um, as we go, we're going to jump onto the website. But one thing I do want to mention is the seven day savers. Don't forget, you only have up until Sunday morning to take advantage of these. You've got a variety of different things you can add in, and you can see you can add any of these goodies in. Something on there that you might want to consider um, if you are into your sewing, then we have got your threads which are available on there as well. But any of these goodies you can add in, then of course there's no additional um, price with regard. Oh no, actually, that's your end of call. With these, you have got your post and packing to go on top, but if you're a Freedom member, then you don't need to worry about that. So there we go, a whistle stop tour, because I think the thing is that we want to see how this bag comes together. So Di, are you ready? Can I hand back over to you? Yes, I'm ready. Um, yeah, please give, yeah, like I'm ready, like just I'm ready to start presentation anytime. Wonderful, let's go for that then, because I can't wait to see how this bag comes together. Great, thank you, Haley. Yep. Yeah, excellent. Let's, let's go for it. What so, do you need to do first? Yeah, so like just a week going to make these bags. Yeah, it's very handy. Like just uh, uh, it's very simple. All you have to do is like just using this background tape and then just fuse your fabric fabric, fuse your fabrics onto this background tapes and just weave it. That's how simple is that. But first step, like just it's very, very important things to do. Um, first things you need to do is to cut your background tapes, yeah, not the fabrics. It's very important thing. So like I'm going to tell you one more time. You need to cut your background tapes first before the fabrics. So if you have a kit like if, um, as Harry explained, like it's already pre-cut, but don't even look at your fabrics, just background tapes because this background tape is 16 meters yeah so you need to have 16 strips of one meter long background tape so you need to cut into one meter precisely you have to it has to be very precise one meter cut background tapes and you just you need to have 16 of those and not even one centimeter longer then just you won't have enough so imagine if you cut your fabrics fabric width is 110 centimeters. So that's the common mistakes people make. You line them up and cut them into 110 centimeter. So please, please don't do that. So forget about fabric first, just cut into your background tapes in 100 centimeters. That's all you need to do. Now, if you cut your fab, um, background tapes in 100 centimeters, it's time to fuse your fabrics onto your background tape. Because you need to make lots of strips. You need to make lots of strips like that. That's a heavy duty strips. You need to make 16 of those and then just you can weave the back straight away. So it's very heavy duty. Okay, now I need to get the steam iron ready, yeah? Um, we're going to use steam iron for this project. And first, and before fusing your fabric, like just I'm going to show you one of the very important tips for you, okay? Actually, this is the top secret for this project. Like I want you to have the, exactly the same setup for this project, yeah? Um, just I'm going to show you. Can you see? 
this is the mattresses. You know, this is a rubber foam mattresses like just I got from hardware store. And I want you to have exactly the same setting, like just put it underneath and then just cover it up with a piece of fabrics. So you can iron it, you can iron your fabrics on this one. And also later on, when you're going to weave these strips, you want to pin them down so that like just you can fix the positioning of your um, those background strips. Yeah, that's really crucial. So like just, uh, yeah, it's a good grip. Like just you can pin it down like this. Yeah, so like you see, it's very, very handy. I want you to have the, exactly the same uh, setting. Like just, uh, yeah, you can get it from hardware store. Now, if you look at this background tape, you can see the shiny side of it. Yeah, so like just under the light, like just the, one, it's one side as adhesive, so you can see the shiny side of it, like that's the adhesive. So place the fabrics wrong side facing up, and background tape on top. Make sure adhesive side is facing up, and place it as center as possible. Now, avoid the selvage. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fold this over and we're going to fuse with dry iron first and steam iron on the way back. Is that okay so far so good? Looking good to yeah. me. Excellent. Looking good. Yeah, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, so keep going, yeah? So like just, uh, I'm going to um, teach you one of the fantastic um, sewing hack today. It's called Ninja Timber, yeah? That's a sewing hack you can do it um, even from today, and then that's really fantastic. You know, the common mis um, common problems are like when you're um, fusing your fusible interface, like I think like just in the UK, you say uh, bundle web, yeah? When you fuse a bundle web, like just uh, it's Going to, it's going to peel off, like just it peeling off sometimes. Like it's really annoying. Like it doesn't fuse, it's peeling off. We have a solution for that. So we're using a Ninja Timber. This Ninja Timber is amazing because it takes the heat away, like when you fuse your fabrics onto your bundle web. So bundle web has got that adhesive. While adhesive is melting, it doesn't fuse. It only works. Um, when the uh, adhesives start cooling down. So this actually Ninja Timber, it's made out of camphor oil. oil. Um, it's taking the heat away from your uh, um, stabilizer. So I'm going to show you how to fuse your um, fabrics onto fusible background tape. So now adhesive side is facing up. Die. Yes. Could, could you possibly move your strip of fabric about um, an inch further away from you so as we can see that better on our screen? Um, inch away from the screen? From you. So towards the wood? Towards the wood? Oh, uh, yeah, like, like this. Perfect. We just okay, okay. We, we couldn't, Thank you. couldn't Thank quite you. Yeah. see. Is that couldn't good quite now? See. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Haley. Now, can you see this selvage? Because like just uh, as I explained to you before, fabric is way longer than your background tapes. So you can avoid the selvage when you fuse it. And probably I will pin here so that like just you won't move around. It's good to pin it because like just uh, remember, like just we have a um, mattress underneath. Now, we're going to use a dry iron first because like this, it's getting really close to your finger, so I don't want you to burn yourself. So just dry iron from right-hand side to the left-hand side. Just dry iron. So folding the raw edges down. And then just folding, also folding with the edge of the iron, yeah? So I'm going to try not to touch the white bits because it does have the ad adhesive. So I don't want to make a mess on my, 
um, iron. Okay, so I'm holding this edge. I just move around like this, this background tape because like this, you know, um, yeah. And it's keeping like this. Yeah, so this side is done. Now I'm flipping to this way. So raw edge is coming on top now, okay? Then I'm going to fold the rest of the raw edges. Now, I don't want to leave any air on both edges. I want to have really nice and tight and beautiful strips. So I'm going to pull this, stretch these fabrics as much as possible and just bring down here, okay? And then I'm going to use a dry iron because I don't want to burn my fingers. So keep putting using the left hand side if you're on the right hand side, if you're right hand person, then I'm going to fold with my ironing as well. I'm ironing on this edge, yeah? So like this, I'm folding using my iron. I'm going to move this up so that like you can see much clearer. So now we came from right hand side to right hand side, but it's not fused properly. So I'm going to use a steam iron now coming back from right hand side to right hand side and I'm going to use my Ninja Timber, okay? So now, so it's a steam ironing, so it's fusing really properly. Now the adhesive is melting really well, it's heated. And as soon as I'm pulling backwards, this Ninja Timber is attaching to the tip of the iron. So this Ninja Timber is straight away taking the heat away from this on the web. Yeah. And also like this, you can press with this Ninja Timber. So it's going to be like this. Yeah. So now you make the beautiful strips. No air in both edges, around those edges, yeah? So like this, you can make really beautiful strips. It's really nice and tight and beautiful. These things actually make a difference. It's like just if you want to weave the beautiful handbag. And you need to make 16 of those. In our kit, like we have a um, four different colors. Four is a good number because four by four is 16. So if you want to use your fabrics, please choose like just four different colors. Like just maybe you can put them together and then how it looks like and just if they look like it. Um, Guy. Yes. Um, the fabrics yes. that you, the fabrics that you've included in this bundle, they are beautiful fabrics, Japanese fabrics, yes? It is, yeah, it is. It's a Japanese fabrics. Um, lately Japanese fabrics is like just really hard to get because like um, not many com uh, manufacturers are actually making it. Because um, in Japan, like um, people love like just you know, Western fabrics in Japan. So <laughs> So not many people actually making it, but like just, yeah, well, we are lucky that like just say, yeah, we have some of those like just, you know, Japanese fabrics. These actually, the um, designs are from kimono. So like it's actual kimono prints, but oh, it's wow. cotton. So it's great for patchwork. Beautiful. Uh, and we saw there when you were pressing with your iron, it's so crisp when you press it. Yeah, that's right. So this technique, Ninja Timber, you can use it uh, anyone can use it like this. Uh, unfortunately, we can't send it to the England <laughs> because it's timber. Uh, yeah, but like just just um, um. But the thing is, you know, like just uh, uh, well, we have a friend like this, you know, carpenter friend like this in our neighborhood. So like actually, that's why we made it like this. You can curve this one so like you can have a nice grip on it. And if you um, 
yeah, use a timber like just, you know, pine tree is fine or like just a camp floral, like it creates lots of aroma, like when you heat it up and taking the heat away from this one. So like you use this technique, like, yeah, that's really useful. Fabulous. Um, a top tip there, and, and that's what we're getting. Patchwork Ninja, if you have just yeah. joined us, um, we're looking at this fabulous bag. Uh, and Di is in Australia. He's teaching us one of his fabulous kind of hacks, and he's got lots of those. So I'm going to hand back over to Di now. Yeah, OK, thank you, Hayley. OK, so now we're moving on to... Um, now we, we're moving on to how to... Um, we're going to start weaving yeah and then first like we're going to lay the first eight strips remember like now you have 16 of those yeah 16 of those for each four different fabrics now we're going to start laying the fabrics um we need to have a instruction ready so like just uh, um i'm going to show you the page one of the instruction so like just uh, we're going to make something like this yeah so Okay, now we're going to start. We're going to start placing like just all the strips vertically from the left to right, and we lay the first strips here. And then please make sure it's wrong side up. And now we're going to measure forty-four centimeters from the top edge of the fabrics. Yeah. So 44 centimeters from here to there, and I'm going to pin it. Actually, I'm going to start from there. Can you see? Perfectly. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, now looking good. Now looking good. So like just a 44 centimeter from here to there, um, I'm going to put the pins here. Why I'm going to put the pins? You're going to find out a little bit later. So like you just remember, it's uh, good to put the pins here. Like just, it's not in the instruction. So like that's the tips to take away only now. Okay. So first one is done. The second one. So looking at this diagram now, page one of our instruction. So first three, the actually level. So like just we following exactly what the diagram says. So the next one is level, like just those two, the level up at the top. And again, 44 centimeter line, we're going to put another pin in there. Yeah, the next one. Um, next one. It's the same. So first read the level at the top. And please make sure no gap in between, no overlapping. Please. Okay. It's very important. Okay. Number four. Now I want you to have a look here. It's a four centimeter below. The number four is four centimeter, four centimeter below compared to the first three. So now I'm going to measure four centimeters here and then place it here. Okay. Yeah, so these ones are 14 centimeters down. Yep. Now the color kind of rotates. So now repeats. So color repeats. Black, red, green, navy. And what comes next? Black. So like we're going to put the black again. Now, according to instruction, that's two centimeter down. So I'm going to measure two centimeters. And I might look a little bit pedantic about like just those measurements, but please, please follow our instruction, this diagram. Do you know what happens if you don't follow this instruction? It's really disappointing. When you're weaving up here, Sometimes you won't have enough. Like you just have a couple of centimeters of the strips short. That's really, really disappointing if, if that happens to you. So our 
diagram is based on to our you know experience so like just please make sure to follow this diagram and yeah so number five is here and number six and the next one is red according to our instruction that's three centimeter below so three centimeter below and i'm going to put the pins here and it's getting next one is green three centimeter below and it's going to be like this and then the last one is last two is the level at the top so these ones okay so now we got eight strips laid vertically from left to right and these top are exactly looking like our instruction here like that except now we are start we're going to start weaving okay we're going to start weaving the strips so we're going to start putting the strips across and then start weaving we're going to use just only basic weaving technique one 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 under one over so from now on, like you're going to hear me saying one under one over all the time. Like so I'm repeating like like that, like 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 you're saying mantra, because it's really important to keep saying out loud because otherwise I get confused. Now looking at this diagram again, here, this diagram says first one should start with one under. So we're going to follow the instruction and then just do exactly like what instruction says. So start with one under, one over, 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 yeah? And now you understand why I put the pins here. Because these strips go any further upwards. Yeah, so like this, it stops here because we want to keep the strips here. Because this length from the top edge of the strips to this corner is 44 centimeters. And now this length here from here to the top of the, uh, the edge of the strips that's 44 centimeters as well so we measure exactly like that and then probably it's good to have a pin here okay now one done next one because previously we started with one under next one we start from one over yeah so one over one under one over one under one over sorry one over one under one over one under one over one under, one over, one under. And then you can keep pushing this. Now, please have a look on the right hand side and then follow exactly what the diagram says. Here, first to the level. So this is here. Okay. Um, next one is. Okay, next one is green. Because previously, like we start with one under, so like just uh, we do the opposite. Start with one under, one over, one under, one over, one under, one over, one under, one over. And now one centimeter sticking up here. So I'm going to measure one centimeter here. And here, please have a look at this one really carefully now. We need to keep all those lines as straight as possible because these were the very fundamental weaving parts. So, like, just it's easy to 
get it done really beautifully. Later on, like it's getting really bit more difficult. So like just just try to get it done really as beautiful as possible, and then keep pushing from outside to the inside inwardly. Then just say yeah, try to make it perfect. This you know at the end of the day, like just you don't have to be too perfect, but like just I think it's yeah, just try to aim it perfect right now rather than later. So because this one is very straightforward. So like just we keep putting the strips like just from left to right and then just uh, yeah we keep weaving the all eight strips and all eight strips yeah wonderful um Di, can i ask a question we we have had an email um from a lady called susan and she's asking yes. about the fabric is the fabric waterproof no it's a, fabric is just 100 percent cotton so it's not the waterproof, unfortunately. Can so, we wash the yeah, bag? Yeah. So, yep. Can we wash the bag if we need to? Um, probably, I wouldn't recommend. Like, I wouldn't recommend washing the bags. Maybe um, probably to, you can to wipe, wipe it. Wipe yeah, it, maybe yeah. you can wipe it, but like just uh, don't put put into the washing machine or anything. Like because like it, that's a uh, uh, usable materials involved. So yes. like just yeah, um, please don't take it to the, you know. Um, the dirt or yeah please be mindful about the writing wonderful um, now we have been very busy for the bag kit um, Adai so can I quickly just give the details to our viewers again sure sure absolutely Fabulous. yeah please go ahead so the details on your screen there are going to get you everything that you need for you to create your fabulous bag. Third of the stock has gone. Now, £73.99 will get you everything that you need. So let me take you through what we've got here. You've got your incredible lining fabric. All of these are Japanese fabrics, so we know we've got the quality there. Look at that beautiful lining fabric that's going to be used there with the foiling on there. It really does give that perfection with the results that you're going to create. Then the fabric strips. As you heard from Di, you've got 16 of these and these are what you are going to be using for you to create your bag with that woven effect. What you need in addition is the buckram tape and that is included. You've got 16 meters of this so you're going to need a meter, bang on a meter for each one of those strips as Di explained at the beginning of his demonstration. And then of course you need to know how to create your bag, how to do all that weaving and don't worry that is included with your instructions and of course Di has been showing us that throughout. Now obviously his demonstration is going to continue to the point where he's going to be stitching elements in place so you've got that absolutely perfect you've got those japanese um, engineered needles here incredibly hard um, and this is something that Di will explain to the reason why he's chosen these in a few moments some additional bits and pieces like your clasp you've also got obviously your japanese thread that's coming with this and you've also got your needle grabber which we will see in action in a little while and then you've got the most incredible handles i mean these are beautiful they're going to finish your bag off to perfection and of course you've got a pair of those handles included but you will have the instructions you will have the knowledge from die there meaning that you can make your bag with the kit when it arrives and of course take that knowledge and create even more with your own fabrics 390729 you can see it's an absolutely incredible bag there and we are busy for the kit so there you go you've got your magnetic fastener there with your lining with your little pocket in there absolutely beautiful looks amazing so yes if you want a new kit the details are there lots of you've been going for additional bits on top of this set as well so let me give you the details of the other items that we've got so with this one you've got your woven bag kit so you're not getting the additional elements like your needle grabber you're not getting your thread you're not getting your needles but this might be a nice one to add in because it does mean that you've got additional of your buckram tape additional handles there and of course additional beautiful fabrics for you to work with two flexi buy payments 29 pounds and 50 pence 710231 if you're wanting that but what about when you've used a pool of your buckram tape well we can help you with that as well or die can so what you could be doing is you're introducing some of your own fabrics might be that you've already bought some Japanese fabrics previously um, and you're wanting to use this so again a full 16 meter roll there with your um, instructions that die has been showing us but over half the stock has gone of these so you need to be getting your order for these quickly as soon as you possibly can um, and of course the beauty is you can add this into your basket in addition to any of those other bundles that we've been chatting about it means 
you are going to be able to make your second bag the moment that this arrives. Now, of course, those needles, if you're wanting the needles by themselves, we have got those available for you, and a third of the stock has gone of these. You're getting 25 in there, and as I mentioned, they are incredibly hard Japanese steel. They are perfect for you to create those bags. As you heard from Di there, He's pretty much known sewing and patchwork all his life and passing on those um, kind of family held um, little tips and hints and, and hacks. Don't forget when you come to check out your basket though, do add these in. These are end of call items. So you've got more of your Japanese thread there and you've got your needle grabber. So just keep your eye open for those as you're checking out your order. 302696 if you, sorry, 969 if you're wanting the needles. But you can see here as we hand back over to Dai, all of that fabulous weaving is coming together. And as Dye has been shown us from the top of the show, it couldn't be simpler. That looks amazing, Dye. It's coming together beautifully. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, so like to say, it's getting along like just a really, uh, yeah, nicely. So like just, I'm going to show you like just very important points. So like imagine like this, you weave, uh, you put the, all the 16 strips and then that's how it looks like this. Yeah. It almost looks like a spider with lots of legs there. Yeah, that's right. Like just, it's almost like an octopus and <laughs> spiders. Yeah, that's right. So um, yeah, you're going to we you 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 done a weaving. So like just first, I want you to have a look like just what it looks like from the outside. Um, yeah, see, if you keep like your line lines like really straight like this, um, you make really beautiful squares. Please aim like this, like this, you know, you don't have to be a perfect, but like to see if you aim it, um, your bag will be really fabulous. Now, because you've done a really amazing work done, um, so you need to keep your woven area. Now, you need to choose your, um, the, on the web here, yeah, on the web here to for, um, cover up like this, your woven area. And also this is the background sheet which is the same material as a yeah, background tape, and then that forms the base of the bag. Now, it's very crucial point because like most people find it very complicated, but once you see it, like you're going to understand crystal clear. Now, do you remember these ones are 44 centimeters? Yeah. yeah. If you have a 44 centimeters, we're going to weave from that corner, yeah? So we got how to fold, how to fold, uh, how to weave those two strips because these two are next to each other. So I'm going to show you how. So before doing this, along the base of the bags, freeze fold up like this. Yeah. And we're going to start weaving those two strips here. So this is the corner. And we're going to weave those two. When you fold the whole lot along the base of the bags, these two are now next to each other, but like this, these ones goes to across like that. Can you see it? Yeah. Um, and then like, please remember to keep one over one under principle. So one under one over, one under one over. So this one, please don't do it too much just do little one two three four and use the craft clip to hold it in place yeah so now one done move on to the next corner here which is this corner and we're going to these two are now next to each other but now folding upwards so these two strips that cross really nicely on the right angle and just one, two, three, four. And the user click. And move on to the next corner again. These two are next to each other. And folding upwards. And those two are crossed to each other, okay? And keep weaving using one over one under principle. One, two, three, four. And the last one. 
this is the uh, the last corner and those two and for the upwards uh, one two three four and using the craft grips now we done all four corners the most tricky part and ha let's have a look at what it looks like oh it's wow. already forming like a bag yeah yeah That's so like this, the, all you have to do from now on yeah 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 do you like it i love yeah, it it's, yeah it's yeah you love it that's good <laughs> yeah. yeah it's a, it's a much simpler than you think yeah so like you see, if you know these tips like just a little by little and then just keep rotating and we're going to keep weaving like this and we're going to start weaving very close to where the doors uh corner of the bottom of the back and then we keep weaving from here 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 move on to the next strips and then just we keep doing one over one under rule so like just i'm going to say out loud like mantra like one over one under otherwise i make mistakes sometimes right like just uh, it's getting really confusing sometimes but also it's very enjoying and also mesmerizing so i done this way this line yeah move on to next one so this one one under one over one under one over and one under one over die um just to let you know we yes. have about seven minutes left of the show sure sure yeah uh, it's good um so like just uh all you have to do is like just keep weaving and now i will show you what it looks like so wow you you're going to keep weaving it and then just you need to stop some somewhere so counting from the bottom one two three four five six layers and now you need to know how to finish off so like this just folding to each other and use a craft grip and a hole okay and now you need to stitch up the line that's the only stitching you need to do and then just uh, um, place the lining in place in the inside, yeah. And you need to stitch the handles. The handles included in the kit has got uh, uh, already holes in there. So like just uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's it's good to store by hand. And also like that's what the, our needles are for. Like it's the sharpest needles ever in Japan, and also heavy duty um thread from japan and also um needle grabber and also needle grabber i'm going to use yeah i quickly show you how to stitch up those because without using those three notions like just it's going to be really hard to stitch up now this lining Please fold this up, and then it goes like this. Oh yes, I see. The lining folded edge, yeah, you, you see it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start stitching the this in the corner, yeah. So I don't want to push the needle with my fingers because I know it hurts. So this ninja needle grabber, you can push the needle through and fit the needle in this pocket and then you can push this and then catch the needle and pull it through that's clever yeah yeah thank you and also like this needle is so sharp so like to say you feel the differences when you're making it just because like your knot will pop up otherwise so like this just leave the tail and i'm going to pass the needle through and then just do like that, yeah? Then just uh, your needle wouldn't pop through. All you have to do is stitching up and then pass the needle through and stitch the next in the corner, okay? Yeah. And that's all you need to get done. And then just, just the last step is you're going to stitch up this sewn magnetic buttons. And then if you stitch up all the inner corners and that's it, 
Wow, that's yeah, so see, like easy. Yeah, jump dodge. Yeah, so like just the, you know, the trickiest part was like just the four, um, weaving the four different corners. And also like preparation is everything for this project. Like it needs to be, measurement needs to be really accurate. So like just the cutting everything in really accurately and also fusing the strips, please be mindful like so that makes a um, difference. It's you know? worth taking and also, that like, time. Just the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that's uh, how the step-by-step -step of this bag is all about. So I love that. Yeah, now, did you like it? I, I love it. Now I'm going to show everybody um, the bag that you sent through to us where the stitching is that you've just shown us. So everybody at home there, you can see how um, Di explained that you've got kind of your, your stitches um, where those little peaks come together. So where you've got the lowest point, that is where your stitch is. I'm just going to pop my finger, just not where the magnet is. Um, so you can see that you've got a gap there, <laughs> but then you have a stitch there and a gap here. And and a little stitch there so that's very minimal sewing there working your way through and then of course that magnetic um, clasp there we have been very very busy for these kits if you're wanting to get hold of yours please be aware that half of the stock has gone now we only have one show with Di um, unfortunately um, hopefully we will have more shows with him in the future but this is his first ever show and he has been absolutely brilliant I mean Di you've explained everything so well Oh, um, oh well, I think we've lost time for a moment. We, um, yes, I just need to give you a few of the little details again and we'll see if we can get hold of Di again. So um, you've got your bag kit, the details of which are on your screen there. So within your bag kit, you're going to get your Japanese fabric, giving you the lining of your fabric, which is absolutely beautiful. You've got your strips of Japanese fabric, which adhere beautifully to the buckram tape, which you are going to get. 16 metres of your tape in there. You've got 16 of your strips, so it's a metre strip. Do not dilly-dally from that. You have to be precise that is the key thing precise measurements then of course you're going to weave them using your instructions that Di has included and has he's explained to us already so do make sure that you do that you've also got your bag handles there within here a pair of those handles to give you those incredible results that you can see there so you can see that you've got all your additional book from all featuring there 73 pounds and 99 pence is your price at um, 390724 now once you've created your first bag I know you will be itching to make your second and we've got an additional set that you can add in hasn't got all the additional bits and pieces in there with regards to the needles and the thread because you'll have some of those left over but what you have got in this set is more fabric more buckram tape and another set of handles as well as the lining and the buckram for your base as well there's also an extra set of um, instructions there for you too so if you want this one 710231 finally maybe you just want to add in that buckram tape maybe you've got some fabrics already in mind then do make sure you're adding this in again another 16 meter roll of your um, buckram it's got the adhesive on there which is heat activated when you use your hot iron and follow the instructions that Di shared with us 17.99 it's been very very busy two-thirds of the stock has gone of this one so if you want in your 776083 don't forget those needles though as you saw there Di was explaining they are the sharpest needles from Japan engineered to perfection and that is why Di has chosen the for the show you're getting 25 of them 11 pounds and 99 pence 302969 and don't forget to add in those additional things wasn't that an amazing tool mind-blowing so your needle grabber your ninja needle grabber you need to be adding that in as you check out your order and of course go for some of that additional thread there because once you start making these bags I am sure you will not be able to stop die it's an absolutely amazing yes. range that you've bought us i can't wait to see more from you yeah thank you very much like just i really thoroughly enjoyed and then thank you give, um yeah giving us opportunity um we obviously like just we couldn't uh, introduce you know all the tech showing techniques about this handbags like so you can see uh some tutorial videos on our website as well if you're interested um, I love that. But you've certainly shared enough for us to get excited and want to get involved with these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's really enjoyed, actually, like this, you know. And also, like, you, it's a lot to take, like this. So, like this, um, yeah, lots of sewing hacks, like I already teaching you. So, please, please use uh, Ninja Timber 
and also like just a heaps of other like just sewing hacks. So like just yeah, now you know crystal clear how to weave this bag. So enjoy making the bags, and then you know like just it's a really mesmerizing and an enjoyable processes, especially weaving parts. So like just uh, I hope you enjoy making these bags as well. I am sure we will, and I am looking forward to seeing what our viewers make when they get their kits home. Um, so thank you again. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. And then, like, it's a fantastic honor. Yeah, it's a fabulous honor to like to be on this show. And um, yeah, like, just uh, enjoy making the bag. Well, this is it, and the honor is ours. So goodbye to Dai just for now. We will see Dai again very soon, I am sure. But there you go. The details are on your screen there. If you want to go for your bag kit, you still have the opportunity. But we have been incredibly busy. It's wonderful that you've embraced this concept. And of course, Dai's amazing kits. Just make sure you get a hold of them while you can. Bear in mind, extended delivery on these ones as well. So obviously, they're coming from um, Australia. So it's the 13th of August. But worth the wait. You are going to have so much fun with these when you get them home, myself included.